<laughs> Team Keep It Clean, it's always good to see and hear from y'all. I really appreciate y'all. No Drake Strays today, because there ain't nobody come out with nothing last night. But anyway, real quick, before we get into this, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Put it in the comment section how you doing, whether it's good or bad. Hopefully it's good, but if it's bad, uh, Team Keep It Clean, we're here for you. Hopefully we can give you some words of encouragement, whether it be advice, whether it be just trying to uplift you so your day can get even better but let us all know how you doing uh in the comment section now um the baltimore ravens they have been very very busy they've been very very active and today was no different because they announced the official signing of quarterback uh former florida quarterback former arizona state quarterback and former cincinnati bearcat emory jones uh, and we're going to talk about what he brings to the Baltimore Ravens uh, in a bit. Uh, before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn the notifications on and leave a like on the video because it be helping out a lot. Like some of y'all don't realize that them likes, they go a long, long, long way, especially with YouTube, especially with the channel, especially just with your algorithm, too. So I appreciate y'all. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Uh, shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean channel members with the special star next to their name in the comment section. I, I love all of y'all, and I really appreciate what y'all do uh, for us on a daily basis, what y'all do for each other uh, on a daily basis, because it makes a big, big difference. And real quick, special shout out to, because um, I believe this is Nurses Week. Um, special shout out to all the, the, the people just working in healthcare in general, because uh, our son, Carter, he had a uh, surgery like, two weeks ago it was a small surgery it wasn't nothing crazy um but just being in the hospital being around uh just there was obviously a lot of sick people There's a lot of people just going through a lot of stuff that's it it, it, it would be too much for me I, I couldn't work in the healthcare field i'd be in i'd be at work crying literally every single day because I, I i couldn't take that stuff because uh, i'll be feeling for people feeling bad for people and whatnot but nurses healthcare workers y'all are a different breed of people in a good way and, and i appreciate y'all like crazy so thank you for everything that you do thank you for the very 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 hard work that you put in on a daily so i appreciate y'all um now emory jones emory jones baltimore ravens they signed him and again he had moved around schools a little bit um i'm not sure the exact reason why but uh, it's not very important because now he ain't moving schools anymore. He's in the NFL and he's signed to the Baltimore Ravens. And Jeff Zrebic highlighted something that was very interesting. He talked about how uh, they only normally carry four quarterbacks, but uh, with the uncertainty uh, and then being, them being very noncommittal when it comes to Malik Cunningham on what his role is going to be, then it makes sense why they're carrying five instead of the normal four. Because as we know, uh, John Harbaugh, when he spoke about Malik Cunningham, he talked about how, well, yeah, we're trying him out at quarterback and we're trying him out at receiver. And we don't know which one he's going to be yet. And uh, a lot of times if you are, if they try you out at two positions, then you don't have a position. Um, so that is something that is alarming when it comes to Malik Cunningham. And, and they said the same thing last year, too. They were very noncommittal because they brought him in. He was obviously a quarterback. But then Harbaugh was like, oh, we're going to try him at quarterback. We're going to try him at receiver. We may even try him at return, man. So he, he was even saying this right when they first signed him. So we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Um, but as far as their quarterbacks, obviously they got Lamar Jackson, they got Josh Johnson, they got Leary, they got Malik Cunningham, and now they have Emory Jones. Now, but and back to Malik Cunningham real quick. Um, a quarterback and receiver, those are two drastic, drastically different positions. They obviously work hand-in-hand -in -hand together, but they are two completely different positions. It's not like somebody's training, are we training him at running back and fullback? Oh, are we training him at uh, guard and tackle? Or are we training him at cornerback and safety? No, 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 no. They train somebody, uh, quarterback and at wide receiver. So that's just two way different things. But, hey, them trick plays might go crazy. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. But anyway, Emory Jones. Emory Jones, uh, I watched a couple of games from him, and he just really reminded me of a much younger, um, not nearly as polished, which you can understand, uh, Lamar Jackson. And what I mean when I say that, it just it just took me back to early uh, Greg Roman days, Lamar Jackson. And, well, maybe I can't even say that because early Greg Roman day, Lamar Jackson went an MVP, and then he's always in the running for MVP. So maybe I shouldn't say that. But um. 
just when you watch his game, you could see what the Baltimore Ravens saw in him and why they would bring him in to put him in the QB, the backup QB uh, competition. Because what he did uh, at Cincinnati, it, it really reminded me of what and how the Baltimore Ravens used to run their offense. I, and maybe, hey, maybe I didn't watch enough games. I only watched two, but I didn't see him under center at all uh, I saw him in a lot of pistol formation uh, A lot of shotgun uh, So he was not under center At all in the games that I watched And that's how it used to be with Lamar too And even still now um, They've been incorporated, incorporating it more And hopefully they continue to incorporate it even more But with Lamar Jackson There was a while where he just would not be under center like that uh he still obviously got the job done uh he's still obviously a baller uh but he just hadn't been under center too often and that's what i saw uh from emory jones but yeah he got he got an arm and that boy he, he could take off too he could take off so it, it just you think about the baltimore ravens and where they are right now um when you think about a backup quarterback when you're building a roster, when you're building your team, uh, you have to ask yourself the you have to have that awkward, uh, uncomfortable conversation with yourself uh, if you're the GM, because you have to ask the question: If my top QB goes down, can our QB two come in and win some game for us? Can they hold it down while QB one is out? Obviously, you don't want QB one to go out. And shout out to them 2023 Ravens They held it down And they were It's weird because they faced so many injuries But at the same time They were very very healthy And that don't even sound right to say But anyway um, Lamar Jackson He was healthy the entire season Which is great That's a beautiful thing Because a lot of quarterbacks They couldn't say that last year A whole lot of them um, well, Lamar, he did his thing last year, and obviously we want that to continue. But this is more of a stay ready so you ain't got to get ready type of thing now, when it comes to the backup quarterback. So you have to look at your roster and think, all right, if Lamar was to go down, can, we, can Josh Johnson come in here and win some games for us? That's the question. Can he do it? Uh, if Lamar was to go down, can Devin Leary come in and win some games for us? Can Malik Cunningham come in and win some game for us? And now, uh, added to that question, can Emory Jones come in and win some games for us? As opposed to a lot of uh, other undrafted rookie free agents, this is one that I seriously do believe has a real shot at making the Ravens roster. Um, because, of course, they have that rule where you can have two QBs active on game day. And then you can have an emergency quarterback active on game day as well. I could see I could see Emory Jones either being QB two or three. I think right now his higher, his higher chances would be as QB three, being that emergency quarterback. Reason being because Josh Johnson, the advantage that Josh Johnson has over him, obviously plenty of years of experience in the NFL. Experience is one of the best teachers in the world. Um, but he doesn't have athletic experience over him, um, but he has that NFL experience. Uh, but he also, with the playbook, he was here last year, so he's familiar with the team, with the, the, the scheme and all that, with Monkey. He, he's familiar with all of that stuff, and he was that emergency quarterback last year. But since he already pretty much has a grasp of the playbook, he was around it for all year last year, that bodes well in his favor. In order for Emory Jones to leapfrog Josh Johnson, boy, he would, he would have to do it. Plenty of overtime studying that playbook, getting acclimated with, with it, getting caught up with it, and just really, really going in like crazy. If that, that would be the only way, if he can grasp that playbook like that, which it is possible, if he can grasp it like that, come in and training camp and, and show his stuff, you never know. You never know. Because remember, remember what Tyler Huntley Undrafted rookie free agent quarterback out of Utah. He ended up being a number two. Ended up being a number two. I don't know who his competition was back then, but 
Anyway, he he ended up getting it. So with Emory, you you just you you never know. And another reason why I do feel like he has a legitimate shot at being either QB two or number three um, is because with Malik Cunningham, all that uncertainty that that's a lot of uncertainty uh, at with with his positions. I can't even say at his position, but with his positions, because again, quarterback, wide receiver, what what what's it gonna be? Yo, Ravens, yo, you got to pick one. Or maybe Malik Cunningham, you got to pick one. I don't know what the, the background story on that is. But there's uncertainty there. So there's not there's no commitment there. And then when you look at Devin Leary, um, he, different, different kind of quarterback than what the Ravens had. But then you got to think, like, man, uh, if something were to happen uh, and we want to still run the same kind of offense, can Devin Leary run that offense better? Or can Josh Johnson or Emory Jones run that offense better with what we are what we do already? So just something to think about. So Ravens, uh, their backup QB competition is heating up just a bit. So shout out to Emory Jones. Welcome to the Baltimore Ravens, baby. Go do your thing. Go have fun with it. And go show them why you deserve a spot on the roster.